Let's look at example three, finding arc. That should say arc. Finding arc measures. We're going to find the value of the given arcs below. So in this picture, we are told that, ooh, look at here. We have perpendicular, and it's a diameter since it goes through point A. This means that this chord CE is bisected. Not only that, but arc CD is congruent to arc DE. So right away, we know that 9x equals 80 minus x, which means 10x equals 80, so x equals 8. Since x equals 8, CD is 9 times 8, which is 72 degrees. And since the arcs are congruent, then ED is also 72 degrees. All right, this is going to help us. We now see that CD, yep, is 72 degrees. DE is 72 degrees. And arc CE, this entire arc will be 72 plus 72, which is 144 degrees. And those are our three answers. One cool thing to notice is that arc BC is also congruent to arc BE here. And that might be a topic that comes up later. This brings us to theorem 10.6. Theorem 10.6 tells us that in the same circle or congruent circles, two chords are congruent if and only if they are equidistant from the center. This means two things to us. This means if we have a circle with two congruent chords. Then these two chords, you'll have to kind of ignore my really bad drawings here, are the same distance from the circle. And recall, the way we measure distance is we draw a perpendicular line from the two objects we're measuring. So the distance from chord AB to the center of the circle, which is C, and from chord DE to the center of circle C should be the exact same. Conversely, if two chords are equal distance. So let's say we have our two chords and we know that they're equal distance. This means that the two chords are congruent. So it works in both directions. If two chords are congruent, then they're equidistant from the center. If chords are equidistant from the center, then the two chords are congruent. And here's our example. In the picture below, find the value a of AF in the given diagram. We're told that BC, there we go, equals DE, which equals 16. Okay, right now that tells us we do have congruent chords, which means also their distances is, are the same. We're also told that AG is 5x minus 9, and AF is 2x. Since they're congruent chords, we know the distances are congruent, meaning 2x equals 5x minus 9, so 3x equals 9, x equals 3. However, our problem asks us to find AF. Since AF is 2x and x equals 3, then AF equals 6. So our final answer is that AF equals 6. And that does it for our video notes. If you have any questions, go back and review. If you still have questions, feel free to come in or send me an email.